All right, bro, how's it going? It's pretty late right now, so I'm gonna talk quite quiet. But I'll just start real, real, like real, real with you. Okay, if you can't make it to this end of the video, to the end of this video, because your like attention span is so fucked from being in meat like four times a day and like watching YouTube videos on repeat and repeat and TikTok and shit, right? You're never going to be successful. So either click off the video now or watch to the end of the video. So great, thanks. Um, yeah, so basically, about 30 days ago now, I started my SMMA, um, started fucking around and, you know, making, like, videos about, you know, not making videos, sorry, like, making stuff on my website and bullshit and started doing some cold calls, all great, check out my previous videos on this journey, and yeah, um, here we are now, and I'll give you an update from since last time, um, I closed my second free trial client who I haven't started service delivery for yet because he's super busy but he's still down to do it absolutely massive client makes like 1.3 million pounds in revenue per month fucking crazy um meanwhile I'm been doing service delivery for my first free trial client and providing some great results for him um five leads within the bear in mind it's like a 16 pound a day um about twenty dollars a day in daily budget on ad, ad spend, and I've got him five. I've got him five leads in the first five days, and three appointments booked so far. More to come. Um, and yeah, that's going that's going pretty well, man. Um, I discovered my winning ad, and as an eight pound per lead, for the for my industry for my niche, which is home improvement, that's pretty fucking solid. Eight pound per lead, CPM's like seven pound, which is fucking solid for my country, which is normally the average of around ten pounds seventy. Um, yeah, but really incredible results so far. I've gotten five leads, multiple appointments booked, more to come. I'm gonna be averaging on about two leads per day on this current um trajectory with this winning ad. So fucking amazing results. Um. And I thought I'd just share some insights because that's about it. That's about the updated, as, as updated as it is for me and my SMMA journey. I'm probably going to upsell my my uh, client in um, next week. I'm going to try and get him onto some sort of retainer or performance model. More likely retainer I'm going to try for. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty confident that he's going to want to sign because he's I've already proven him to him results. So, yeah, that's about up to date. So I'll just give you some insights, right? Some, this is just like self development, life, entrepreneurship insights, not just specifically SMA. If you come across a problem in life, if you come across a period where like your brain is so fucking fried and you just want to give up, perfect, <laughs> push through that shit. You are about to be on the other side of pure your um, what's the word? Oh, what's the word, man? Euphoria. Um, don't don't click off the video, you dickhead. Let me come up with a word. Catharsis. You're gonna come up with. You're gonna get through this problem. And it's gonna be pure catharsis and amazing feeling. Um, so to push through the problems, man. Like at the end of it, at the end of every problem is you figuring out how to solve that problem ten times faster next time. Like this is how business works. This is how you develop skills. This is how entrepreneurship is. Push through problems. You will figure them out. Okay, number one, first major problem I came across was, I mean, I had a lot of failure with outreach, but if we skip past that, major problem I had was onboarding my first client, which was an absolute mess, absolute shambles. I was panicking. I was didn't want to disappoint him. I didn't want to make a bad first impression. I'm a bit really mad because I started providing results as soon as it was sorted out but you know I was stressed as fuck and I spent all day trying to figure this out and eventually figured it out because I'm an idiot um, and figured it out and now I just feel great as soon as I figured it out but I'll give you the story actually as on the day so I signed him up I tried to sign him up onto the Facebook and stuff didn't work out I said um, give me 20 minutes, I'm going to call you back, I'm going to figure this out, I figured it out, then kind of, I figured it out, and 
you know, got access to his ad accounts and his Facebook page and shit. And called him back. Uh, sorry, after I called him back, we did that. And then ended the call. And yeah, it was kind of like, oh, I can't find access. I can't figure out how to do this and that to, to start the ads. And I thought it was something to do with the onboarding, but the onboarding was fine. Um, so I was panicking all fucking night. And it was like 11 p.m., similar time to what it is right now. I was in bed trying to get to sleep and I couldn't sleep because it was on my mind. I, I, I had spent like eight hours of the day trying to figure this out. And I just wanted to die. I just wanted to shrivel up in a ball and just die and melt into molten, right? <sighs> but I figured it out, okay? I got up and I, I stopped trying to go to sleep. I picked up my laptop and I figured it out within like 20 minutes. Amazing feeling, pure catharsis. Thank fuck, fell to sleep in like three minutes after that. Fucking amazing feeling, right? Those kind of moments are exactly what this shit is about. It's such a good feeling to overcome a problem like that. And people only look at it on the surface level of like, problems are just so annoying. Like, these things are terrible. Embrace them, man. Embrace failure, embrace it. It's all part of it, man. And it's cliche as fuck, but it is, it's true. Because it's cliche for a reason. If something's cliche, it's cliche for a reason. I don't know why I'm doing Italian shit right now. But you get me, man, you get me. I hope you're still watching. So that's 30 days of SMMA. That's like my number one insight is just when you come across a problem like that, just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. You'll figure it out. You might feel an idiot afterwards after you figure it out, but you'll figure it out. Um, that's major insight, man. And just pure obsession. Just pure obsession with the process. Pure obsession with the business you're trying to start. In any endeavour, as I said, not just SMA. In any endeavour, just obsession. It's on my wall. Obsession equals infinite motivation, right? If you cannot stop thinking about something, then you are likely going to get very good at it. Okay, so just this past weekend, I went to the sea, to the seaside with my parents, my brother, and walking my dog. And I couldn't stop thinking about it, man. It was it was horrible in a, in a in a good way. I can't stop thinking about it. Like I just wanted to relax and have some quality time with family. But this is what it takes sometimes to be the next level. Because someone that's half arsedly doing SMA, they'll fucking enjoy their holiday. But but I didn't really enjoy it that much because I was worried about service delivery. I was worried about am I doing enough for outreach. I was worried about all this shit. But you know what happened as soon as I came back from the holiday. Work, 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 work. And it was natural. It was, I enjoyed it. I felt purpose and meaning in the work. Like when you're obsessed with something and you truly have an aligned why with that thing, it's so easy to do the work. Today I sent 100 DMs. That might not seem like a lot, but it was a lot. And a lot of responding, a lot of creating video messages, a lot of checking up on my ads and sorting out my ads and making sure that my client was happy, all this stuff. And none of it felt bad. None of it felt bad compared to previous productivity, compared to, you know, the uni work that I've done in the past, which I absolutely fucking hate doing. Like, I hate sitting down and studying. Why do I love this so much? Because I have a meaning, I have a why for it, right? You have something aligned to what you're doing and that makes it so easy. Become obsessed over your actual business and become obsessed over the why of your business. Why are you doing this? I'm doing it for financial freedom. I'm doing it to retire my parents. I'm doing it because I want to hire my brother and, you know, have a have a business of hiring people I know or hiring people that need it. And, you know, maybe that's not set in stone, but this is the idea I have it right now. And basically just creating a business and financial freedom for my family. That's essentially it. And I'm just imagining it. I imagine every single day when my parents get home from work or finish work. And they moan about it and I'm like, bro, only if I could do something, I can do something. So yeah man, just have an obsession over it completely. If you have not clicked off the video right now, credit to you, bro. Credit to you. You're one of a kind. <sighs> Is there any other insights I could give? Cause I'm probably not gonna have another video in for like another month. Um, but 
yeah i'm not i don't really like to talk about specific um smma advice because i'm not that guy yet i'm not that guy that has the right to talk about this outreach method is the best or this is the way you do facebook ads i don't have the right to say that yet so what i'm doing is i'm documenting my journey i'm documenting my personality and my insights and my authentic you know way through this journey and hopefully it can be of value to someone that is rather than on day 30 on day one on day two right these insights will help you get to the next level will help you push through them problems push through them obstacles help you achieve the goals faster than i did um and to be honest it's more of a documentation because i know i'm going to be extremely successful it's like well I'm going to look back at this one day and be like, these were the fucking times, bro. You know, fucking buzz cut. Damn. Cut his hair off. To prove a point. <laughs> Do you ever just like... Just sit and quiet. This is why you guys need to quit YouTube. Like, no offence, bro, but... You probably need to quit YouTube. Because I did two weeks ago and it's one of the best decisions I made. But like my attention span is so much better than it was before. And I can think so much more clearly. And when I'm speaking, it just comes out like so articulately. And I don't even think about it compared to before. And I was like constantly tripping over my words. Like right now, I don't even think about what I'm saying. It's just all coming out. And my brain is just working so coherently. Ah. Uh, Welcome to my brain. This is you're you're getting a direct insight to the way I think and how fast my mind goes sometimes, but it just goes to show, man. The mind is plastic, the mind is durable, and every single thought you have dictates your actions, okay? So if you have a bad habit, the easiest way to slow down that bad habit is to think in the opposite. Think the way think here. Think against the bad habit so you say you've got a bad habit and for some reason you believe it's good for you stop believing the opposite logically break it down you know this doesn't relieve stress this doesn't make me feel good this doesn't make me more confident this 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 makes me less confident this gives me less courage in life break it down okay now you understand the negatives of it Think about the positives of the opposite. I mean, this is not even irrelevant to the video, but this is how you, you, your thoughts become your actions, right? Your thoughts become your beliefs, your beliefs become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your destiny, I think. That's a Gandhi quote. I might have ordered it wrong, but you, you get the idea. Thoughts, thoughts are everything. I'm going to end the video and read my book now, but See you next time.